Hi everybody. This is the this is the world famous Mitch Fatel. What I would do if I found my wife shagging another dude. Hi honey, I just got home off the road. What's that moaning coming from the other room? Oh yeah, that's that's you know how to do it. I can't believe it. I'm touching the girl who touches the world famous Mitch Fatel. Hey, mister! You, you stop shagging my wife. Dude, I'm sorry, it's just I'm a fireman, and I always listen to your skits at the firehouse. Fireman, why didn't you say so? You're a hero, you save lives. If you ever see your local fireman, you have to, you should have sex with them. Not while they're putting out the fire. Hey, when you're done, I'm over here, you can have sex with me. And then I would bring the fireman home and he would be like, all right, drop, drop your drawers. And I'd be like, whoa, whoa, you, you, you got soot all over your face. And he'd be like, oh, so now you don't want to have sex with me because I have soot on my face. You're obviously homophobic. I mean, I'm not homophobic, but I am clean. Once soot gets in your sheets, you can't get that, that stuff out. First, you want the right to get married, and now you want the right to have sex in my bed with me with soot on your face. I could be having sex with a gorgeous Playboy centerfold in my bed, and, and if she had soot on her face, I'd be like, hey, Missy, what's, what's with the soot? And she'd be like, how dare you? I have the nicest vagina anyone's ever seen. And I'd be like, frankly, I don't care if your vagina made fresh apples or pizzas and pears. You, uh, if it's got soot on it, it's not, it's not getting in my bed. I'm glad that my wife is faithful and doesn't have sex with people when I'm not there. But if she did have sex with anyone, I would just hope that she would make sure that they wiped the soot off their face.